Hey there YouTubers, um, thought I'd make a video today about the new updates to Logic 10, it's 10.1 it's called now, and it does have some great new features. So if you already own Logic 10, also sometimes known as X, you can just update this from your software updates on your Mac. So I thought we'd look at some of the most user friendly and probably going to be some of the most popular of the new updates. So we're going to start out and this is the default opening window when you select a new song and we're going to create a drummer track. Now drummer was part of Logic 10 but it has been revamped and I think kind of modernised and will be more relevant to today's um, kind of bedroom producers and people who are maybe making more electronic sounds. So you can see here um, we've already opened um, a window, an edit window, to go and have a look at more detail. So whereas previously we had the four selections, we've now got um, electronic. So I'm just going to open an electronic window and here we have, for example, Magnus, a popular dance festival headliner. Um, thunderous electro house beats. Maybe sounds a bit like a Vici or someone, but um, they give you a really good idea of the type of beats you're going to get. Let's have a little browse around. So we've also got Julian. Modern technology with vintage drum machines, um, house beats. So I'm just going to double click and it should change the settings, giving me um, these settings here, which are the presets, which are the existing drum patterns that we can customise for ourselves, for our own music. So I'm just going to click on Ibiza Sunrise, set up a loop. Let's have a listen. So a very kind of atypical loop, but you know, if you wanted to, you could just start writing something over this, which we'll look at a little bit more in detail later. So you can see we've got this very user-friendly interface where we can just change the sound by, for example, dragging to soft and the beat changes to a more softer rhythm. Simple, it'll take out some of the notes and just make a more simple version. You can use this to build up your song as well. I'm going to stick with kind of loud and a little bit complex. So back to where we were. And now let's add some percussion. So you'll hear some extra instruments now being added. Quite like that. And also we've got the option to add hi-hats, obviously any house <laughs> tune needs some hi-hats, so let's just click on hi-hats. I yeah, quite like that, that's quite a good place to be going to. So now let me show you how you can now chop up, just hit T, get your tools and your scissors, chop up this section, back with T to my normal arrow. I'm just going to move that one out of the way because it's more of a build-up section. And I copied it, so I've still got the original section. And I'm just going to go for something without the hi-hat. So I'm just going to turn off the hi-hat now. And turn the percussion down a bit so it's got something to build to. Now I'm going to the next section and we can hear the hi-hats beginning to come in. quickly build a section. Now obviously if you look at these um, regions on this track they're yellow and they look a little bit like audio regions which are normally blue if you use Logic 4 you'll know that. Um, people may be confused but they are synthesized from real drum machines and I think even the kind of rock drummers are from session drummers so these are really authentic sounds to be working with but you may want them as MIDI tracks. Now the way I do this, there are other ways to do it, is um, I open a new library and double click get my default software instrument there and I'm going to choose the same sound, the after party sound that I had there so I'm going to go to drum machine, drum machine designer, choose after party again and you can see now when I drag the region down into the new MIDI track we've now got um, MIDI notes so again you can customise these, move sections around or do whatever you kind of want to do with them um, in the kind of more usual way that one would use MIDI. Uh, also we can then go to the channel strip setting, click on the uh, interface for the drum machine designer and you'll see when we play it's showing us all of the different sounds as we use them we're getting to see them kind of um, being highlighted so we can see what sounds we've got. And there's some great effects on here as well. Some people may be familiar with this interface. It's quite similar to a third party software, but it really has some great, great features um, that you'll be hearing a lot in dance tunes, I think, coming up soon. So one of my favorites and most effective to kind of demo for you is the high cut filter. 
So let me just loop this little section here on this track. You can hear it sounds like we're kind of leaving the club, going into another room. And then back in again. Um, we've got obviously things like a kit delay as well. Not as effective sounding, I don't think there. And obviously these sounds are all automatable. If you see my other video, Logic Tips and Tricks, um, you'll see some automation um, skills that you can use there. And also there's an update to this, which is automation that you can add on the region, which I may look at later. But let's just browse some of the new sounds as well, because there's been some updated additions to the library that will be useful for people, especially doing electronic music. So um, go to Synthesizer, and they're all nicely labelled. And let's have a look at some of these um, arrangement effects. You'll recognise some of these. Uh, let's pick Pumping Pitch Riser. Let's have a listen to that. So you can hear that's very much a kind of build sound. Let's record some of that in. So quite a nice little section, I'm just going to move that along so it comes in later in the tune. And I'm just going to click another sound, let's have another listen to some of these great synthesizer sounds. So we've also got, um, let's have a look back in synthesizers, want a new track, EDM chords, these give you a really kind of thick sound and a lot of house tunes use these. And I'm going to put in the EDM chord sound, Sunrise Chords. And I'm just going to see if it works with the sound of house. quantize window just hit that on the 16th notes for the moment um, I'm just going to delete the beginning of that little pitch riser there so you can see quickly we're beginning to build um, a track and I just want to show you something else now called the note repeater it's a bit of a hidden gem at the moment you can access it using control option return and it opens up you can also set that in preferences key commands so immediately if we hit a note you can hear it's now repeating that note where this is really good fun is on some drum sounds, so I'm going back to my uh, MIDI drum track, and we've got a familiar sounding kind of build up snare, but obviously, you know, you want a little bit more definition to that. So, let's show you some ways by attaching it to your modulation wheel, tick it there, and you've got the minimum 116th, and then we've got 164th, which is incredibly fast. So, let's go to the end section of this song and let's put in a little build up towards right at the end when that pitch riser sound comes in. I'm just going to hit record, check I'm on the right track there. So I'm just going to solo so you can hear exactly what I did there. And you can see as well here we've got those notes recorded in as MIDI and obviously you can make changes to this to how many beats you want you can also add some triplets and things like that so let's just listen to um, what we've got so far so I'm going to jump out of solo I've jumped in straight to the synths 